Howdy champs, my name is Mohitan People. Today I'm going to talk about 2D transformations, the transform property in CSS. Before I begin, let's uh, check out the cross-browser compatibility. Now the browser support, as you can very clearly see, is uh, complete for IE10 Firefox Opera. And for Chrome and Safari, we need the uh, dash webkit dash vendor prefix. And as far as IE9 is concerned, you require the prefix dash ms dash. All right, so let's begin. People, I'm using Code Pen, an online editor, to demonstrate this tutorial. So in the HTML of the document, people, we have an opening div tag and a closing div tag with the class attribute set to transform. So let's get inside the CSS pane and let's define the class transform. So classes as always begin with the dot or a period transform opening and closing curly braces let's go with the width 100px height 100px border let's say 2px solid if you don't specify the color basically it means that you would want the color to be black All right and uh, next up let's go with yeah the main transform property but with the vendor prefix uh, webkit since I need to support it inside chrome this time this is the preview area people so dash webkit dash vendor prefix the transform property and the matrix now how we can actually use the matrix is uh, really very easy you have six uh, different arguments um, and they are in the defaults are in the order one zero zero one zero zero so just remember the hundred hundred rule one zero zero one zero zero these are the defaults with the help you know you can just alter these defaults and you can translate you can rotate you can skew uh, and you can even uh, scale the object let's also go with the background color so background let's say hash 333 or whatever right oh okay uh, let's tackle these two zeros first let's see what are they actually for now these uh, you know these two arguments the second and the third argument of the matrix can be used to either skew or rotate the object uh, okay let's let's give it some value let's say 0.25 and notice the kind of skew that is happening out here okay similarly if I were to use a 0.25 out here notice that it skews uh, in a different way out here if I were to use a negative value instead see what happens you know it, it bends uh, forward this time instead of bending backwards so basically just takes up a different direction so basically these two values can be used to skew the object now if you were to keep both the values same but uh, you know one should be negative then the other should be positive it acts like as if you're rotating the object so let's go with 0.5 plus and a 0.5 minus you can see that uh, it actually rotates the object skew is very close to the way you can uh, rotate the object so this is actually uh, rotation right so make, the trick is to make sure that you keep the same values uh, but one should be negative and the other should be positive and in fact uh, this rotation will become very clear it's actually getting chopped off if I translate the object when I say translate the object basically means that I move it along the x and the y axis let's move it 50 down 50 uh, right like so so basically the last two two arguments uh, this and this are for moving the object along the x and the y axis people so I've actually moved the uh, object 50 pixels towards the right and towards the bottom using these two values uh, which leaves us with a question what are these two values the one out here and the one out here very simple people this is to zoom this is to scale this is to increase the size so if I were to go with let's say 1.25 and 1.25 out here basically along the x and the y axis top bottom left and right actually managed to scale the object 
as you can very clearly see out here. So I've scaled the object, I've rotated the object, I'm, I've translated the object using the matrix, uh, the 2D transform matrix. So people, I hope you found this information useful and uh, I hope you'll thumb the video up, you'll comment, you'll subscribe and you'll keep coming back for more and more tutorials from me, won't you? You have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.